In this problem, we have to count the number of ways of reaching from bottom of a stair to top of a stair. And there are different steps in the stair. And in each step, you can either climb by one or two. So you have to just return in how many ways you can do that. So let's look at an example. So this is a pretty simple problem. So if you have uh, done Fibonacci uh, sequence, then this should be very similar to that. So let's take a stair of just four steps and let's level them one two three four and we have to reach from here till top so what we can do one would be to take one step at a time so go one two three four that is uh, you jump to first step then second then third then fourth this is the first way next uh, we can reach the last step from 3 as well as 2. So 3 by taking 1 step, 2 by taking 2 steps. There is no other way. And uh, let's say you came to 2 following 1 step each. So what is this one? From 0 we went to 1, from 1 we went to 2 and from 2 we went to 4. This is another way. Next way would be to uh, take the first step, 2 step. So here in both these methods we are going from 0 to 1 but we can go to directly 2 also. So we jump to 2 and from here there are more choices. We either go to 3 then 4. So let's do that first. 3 then 4. So this green will correspond to first we go to 2 then 3 then 4. Next what else we can do? Uh, we can go to 1 then 3. So come to 1 then 3, then 4. So this is also valid. So uh, how we are solving this? So let's say we are solving for some general stair. So in this case we are solving for 4. We always start from bottom. So let's say we are solving for 10. So the 10th, uh, we can reach the 10th stair. Let's say 10th stair is somewhere here. There are some more steps. This is the 10th step. So either we would come from this 9th one or we can come from this 8th one. These are the only two values allowed. You can take either one step or two step. So if you know how many ways to reach from 0 to 8, then you can just take one step and reach 10. So this is same as count 8 plus and you also know how many ways are there to reach step 9 from 0. Then you can take one step to reach 10. So if you add these two, you will get the solution. So this is very similar to Fibonacci. Fibonacci nth number is Fibonacci of uh, n minus 1 if you take it as a function plus f of n minus 2. So here also we are same. This if the this is n, this is n minus two, this is n minus one. But if we do it recursively like this, then uh, let's see the recursion tree. For ten we need nine and eight. So we will solve for ten, nine and eight. For nine we will need to solve for eight and seven. Here we will solve for seven and six. Then we will solve for seven and six and 6 and 5 6 5 5 4 and it will keep growing uh, so first level 1 next level 2 4 8 16 so in general 2 raised to the power level number k where k starts from 0 so it's exponential and uh, if you are solving it again and again even for moderate values like 20 30 this will become very very slow and it may stop working and uh, other thing is that you are resolving it for example 7 and everything below it you have already solved here similarly 8 and everything below it you are solving it again here so we are resolving this problem again and again similarly 6 and below 6 and below here also 6 is there here also 6 is there so once you have solved it, no need to solve again and again and again. So this falls under the category of dynamic programming that is uh, overlapping 
overlapping solutions here and optimal substructure that is in order to solve if you solve the smaller problem in optimal way then you will solve the bigger problem so n we broke into n minus 1 and n minus 2 so if you find the optimal solution of n minus 1 and n minus 2 which are less than n then you will get the optimal solution of n simply by adding them so what we will do here we will start from the base case if n is 1 then there is just one way you have one stair and you have to reach from here to here you will take one step if we have two steps then you can go one at a time or you can directly go here there are only two ways and from three onwards what we will do we, we already know one and two so we can keep two values x equal to one y equal to two and if n is less than equal to two and n is guaranteed to be at least one this is not zero or negative it's mentioned so if n is less than equal to two you return n and if n is more than two you return the previous two values so for two it will be one plus two that is three for four it will be the solution for three and two that is five so here uh, we had missed one solution there would be one more solution here you can try out that for four it should be five for five it will be the solution for four and three that is eight for six it will be thirteen so these are in fact the Fibonacci numbers themselves and we only need to keep track of previous two values so we can start from this and when we calculate 4 x becomes uh, this the corresponding to 3 and y becomes 5 the latest one then we are solving for 5 we will simply add them so we get 8 and we update them so y takes the latest value that is 8 and x takes the value of whatever y was taking so we are in kind of also doing sliding window so we are keeping track of these two to solve this one when we have solved this one we slide this window to here so the first one is x second one is y so when we slide here this becomes x this becomes y again we will move it here and this will become x this will become y and so on so let's write the code for this And we are starting from 3 since if it's less than 2 or 2 we will return from here itself so y will become y plus x so x plus y is the next solution so next solution we keep in y so that's why we stored y here since y is updated and x will take the value of previous y that is tmp and finally we can return so if we are doing less than n then we will return x plus y if you are doing till equal to n then you will just return y both are valid And the solution is accepted and what will be the time complexity it will be o of n since we are just iterating from uh, you can say from 0 to n so there are n iterations or n minus 2 iterations so o of n in a space we are having a few variables so o of 1 so we can write the same logic in java and the solution is accepted finally we will write it in python
or we can write x y equal to x takes the value of previous y and y takes the value of x plus y and the python solution is also accepted